people are always saying REST versus GraphQL. Like you have to choose one or the other, like they're sworn enemies or something. But what they're not talking about is how you actually get them to work together. Personally, I see them more like friends. Let me show you. When it comes to communication between client and server, I see REST and GraphQL as two tools in the same development box, and they have a lot in common. We can use both of them to write APIs, application programming interfaces. This means they both enable us to make requests from a client and respond with data from a server. At the end of the day, we're creating an agreement between client and server, like a contract between two people. Whether we're writing REST requests or sending GraphQL queries, we want to know what data is available, how to ask for or change data, and how we'll get data back. They help us answer the same questions. And I don't know about you, but I've seen them exist side by side in a lot of applications. But there's a much better way that REST and GraphQL can work together. Even if your implementation's built exclusively around REST APIs, you can put GraphQL in front of them to pull all the pieces together. Because GraphQL's really good at grabbing lots of data from lots of different places. And this means our client app can send a single request to a GraphQL server, which breaks it down and asks each of the REST APIs for what it needs. They fetch their own data, as they always have, then pass it back to the GraphQL server. GraphQL gathers everything together in one big bundle, then sends it back to us. This is great, because flexibility is at the core of GraphQL, so if we add in more REST APIs, our new server can take care of that, no problem. But even better than that, this means that instead of building new REST endpoints, we can let GraphQL just go right to our data sources and fetch the data we need directly. It's kind of like building a new road for traffic to flow through. Our GraphQL server gives us the control and precision to decide where requests go, how they're resolved, and where the data comes from. This is what makes GraphQL a natural partner for putting together your API gateway. You can trade in all of your brittle endpoints for a single point of entry for all of your requests. This doesn't mean you have to throw out or rewrite all of your REST, and it doesn't mean GraphQL is a no-go if you've already got lots of REST APIs in place. Instead, by plugging the two together, you can forge a quicker, leaner path to all of your data, wherever it lives. And there you have it. REST and GraphQL can be friends. If you want to learn more, check out graphql.com.